Welcome back to my channel and I just want to quickly do a video about the National Book Award shortlist for translated literature. I'm not an American but I have been following the National Book Award this year because this is the first time they have added a translated literature category and I was curious to see what they would put in it and see how different it would be compared to other translated literature prizes like the Man Booker International Prize and the Best Translated Book Award as well as the Warwick Prize for women in translations and I'm excited to see so many prizes going out for translated literature so I thought I would try and read the entire long list and I have read most of the books. I'm going to go through the short list which was announced recently and just give you my opinion on what's been shortlisted. First up I'll quickly go through what was shortlisted for the translated literature prize and that is Disoriental by Nigel Dravidi and this was translated by Tina Crover and then there was Love by Hannah Oskovich and this was translated by Martin Akin. There was Trick by Domenico Stanen and this was translated by Jinder Lahiri. We had The Emissary by Yoko Tawada and this is translated by Margaret Mitsuteni and Flights by Olga Tukazik translated by Jennifer Groff. And I have read pretty much all of the books. I'm halfway through Disoriental, so I will leave that one to talk about last because I'm still going through that one. As for Love, I think this was a brilliant Norwegian novel. I was kind of surprised this was the Norwegian novel they picked, but it's short. It is haunting, almost eerie in a sense. And a fantastic read. I think it was well deserving of being on the shortlist. I think this will hopefully get more people to read it. This is a story of a mother and son over the course of one night. And they are living together, but they have their own separate lives. So it kind of plays out that way. And I really like how it also it kind of has that play out separately and explores everyday life in an eerie type of way. So that one, I'm really excited to to see on the shortlist. Trick by Stunned is not one that I really enjoyed. It was a grandfather-grandson relationship and he had to look after his grandson for 72 hours while his daughter and his son-in-law had to go away at a conference and it was just their relationship. I didn't really like this book. I thought it was pointless and I'm very surprised to see it on the shortlist. The Emissary, I don't think I wanted to talk about because I don't think it was deserving to to be on the long list, let alone the short list. It's a Japanese kind of dystopian type novel and thankfully it was short because that meant we got through it really quickly. But it was probably my least favourite out of the books I've read on the long list. So I'm very, very surprised that it is actually on the short list. Flights, a beautiful novel, won the Man Booker International Prize this year and I think that means that it's probably not going to win the National Book Award for Translated Literature because this is a new prize. I think they want to try and make sure that they are showing that they are different to the Man Booker International Prize. And while flights might be a bit deserving of winning it, it's definitely been a standout year for this book. I don't think they're going to award it. So I think the award will go to the Disoriental. I think this would be a really good winner for the National Book Award for Translated Literature because it, it explores that family relationship and family through the generations and how choices affect other people but it also is about refugees and a hot topic at the moment so we've got a bit of a political undertone with a coming of age type story and I think it's a brilliant book I'm really enjoying it I've been taking my time reading it because I want to give it the time it deserves and give it the time it needs and not try to rush through it because it just felt like that type of book so I am very much hoping that this will be the winner of this first ever translated literature award. I've been working my way through the entire long list. I've still got a couple to read. I have The Disoriental, which I'm halfway through. I have only recently started The Beekeeper, which is a non-fiction book that made the list. And the other one was Ethereal World, which I've been saving for last. It's a collection of short stories. So I can understand why non-fiction and short stories didn't make the short list. But there were a couple of books on the long list that were definitely more deserving. 
to make the shortlist, but I am not a judge, that's my opinion, and I want to open up to everyone else. So please let me know what you think of this shortlist, and if you've read any, and what you think might win. If you want to find me elsewhere, all my links to social media are in the description below, and I'll be back probably tomorrow with a Friday Reads. Thank you for watching.